Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day so far today. And if you're new here, my name is Alexandra. And if you guys can't already tell, I am doing marvelous today. Like, I'm so excited. I'm really excited about today's video, which we're going to get into here in just a second. But I'm also excited because my birthday is in a couple of days, you guys. It's on a Wednesday. Really excited for that. But even more important than any of that, are you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Ta-da! I am officially back down to pre-baby weight. You guys, like this year has been so insanely hard for me having a baby later on at 35. It's just, it, it's been, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough year, but I'm so happy. I worked extra hard and I finally bounced back and I'm here and I'm loving it. All right, let's talk about today's video because we are going to be getting into the good, the bad, and the ugly because you guys know I don't leave anything out of the trend mood box. So this is a great box. It's really amazing, but also very hard to get your hands on to. So we're going to be talking about all of that along with how you can yourself get your hands on a trend mood box when this is going to be going out, which is tomorrow. So hopefully you guys catch this and watch this as soon as this goes up. And I'm also going to be showing you spoilers for January's box. So if that sounds good to you, then let's get into it. All right, so first, let me give you a little backstory on the Trend Mood box and Trend Mood themselves. So if you're not familiar, Trend Mood is an Instagram page, and I think it's a husband and wife that does it, and they basically have, like, every new launch, every new product, every new anything, new line, new version, they have it up on their Instagram page. So if you're not following them, I would highly suggest you do, especially if you want to know what is going on, what new products are coming out there all over it. So I guess they decided that they wanted to start a box and all these companies that they are already uh, on their PR list for, they reached out to and said, hey, we want to release your products. Like before you actually release them, we would like to feature them in our box. So um, I guess these companies agreed to it. And that's one thing that I do love about this box is you are getting the actual products. And I know you're thinking, well, Alex, I get the actual products in BoxyCharm and Ipsy. No, not exactly. And we're going to talk about that in a future video. But in this box, you are getting the actual exact products. Like whatever you are buying at Sephora and Ulta, you are going to get in this box. So I'm going to really quickly uh, open this up and show you guys what was in my trend mood box. Again, this was December's box. So when you open it up, as you guys can see, I did kind of get into it because I couldn't wait. You know, I, I waited a while for this box, you guys. Okay. So when you open it up, it looks like this. It does have some little cards inside about each one of the products because there are some new releases. Now, the one thing I do love about this box is, and I will show you guys right here, one of the first two products. So these were new releases. So this is the Ola Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser and then the Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream uh, 24 Hydration. It targets lines fine lines, wrinkles, and it has three sources of vitamin C and shea butter. If you do own this product, make sure you are putting it in a skincare fridge or even your own fridge because it does have vitamin C and it will, um, hitting light and air, uh, will take away the potency of this. I've talked to you guys about that before, but these two products together, if you purchase them from the store was $74. So this box is only $39.99. So just that alone paid for this. So that's for me personally, why I got this box. I really didn't care so much about the other products in here, but the fact that I was saving pretty much $30 on these two products alone, that was enough for me. So this was the highlight for me for this box. I'm really excited to try those out. The other thing that was in here was a mini of the Tropic Palette by Natasha Denona. Wasn't really a big fan, didn't really care about this being in here. I do like Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but I will say I, for me, and I know other people have said the same thing, her mini palettes just don't seem to perform as well as her bigger palettes. So that's just me in my opinion, personally, I just, I've done them a couple different times now, tried them out, just not a fan of her minis as much as I am her full size palettes. So um, I'm probably going to put this in a giveaway for one of you guys, not to mention the colors. It's just stuff that I have a lot of already. And then the next thing, which we will actually be talking about in a future video because I have their other two products. So Bite Beauty released the foundation in a new powder, and then they also uh, released some new lips. So this is the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crown, and this is in the color Pavlova. 
And again, this was another, the Ole Henriksen and this Fight Beauty were two products that were new. Oh, wow. I just, um, there, I didn't even realize there was like a sharpener on here in the bottom. That's very cool, actually. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. And I'll do a little swatch. Now, this is supposed to be matte, but I mean, it's a very, like, very, very creamy matte kind of lip crown. So I am really interested to give this a go. Like I said, I will be testing this with the other two products um, the other foundations and can, um, powder uh, in an upcoming video for you guys this week. I'm actually getting ready to try it on here in just a minute. All right, so the next product was the Elsie the Velvet Sponge. Now, I love sponges, but I get them for like a dollar at Make Shop Messe. So I'm not normally interested in trying new ones. However, this one I was definitely interested in because it does have this really sharp top point, And I really feel like that would be I mean, yeah, it just feels so perfect that it would just fit right in the corner of your eye. And that sometimes, even with these sponges with their edges, and I mean, do you see the difference here? Like, I feel like this is really going to get in there. And so I am really excited to try this out. And it, it's something different. I mean, yeah, it's a makeup sponge, but it's shaped differently. And I definitely think this is going to be, it's going to be a good one, but hopefully we'll see. We'll see. All right. And then the last thing was the Glaze Lip Oil. Um, and this is in Candy Apple. This is by the In Beauty project. Now I can't remember if this was necessarily, I think this was a new, newly released product too. Now for me personally, I'm not a big fan of the lip oils. I've seen a lot of companies coming out with lip oils here now. It's like Dior came out with one and Hourglasses came out with one. And I mean, all kinds of people are coming out with lip oils. I myself, I'm just not a big fan of it. The other thing is I did already smell this and first thing, the doe foot on this thing is like insane to me. Like, I mean, I guess it's so you can really get some, you know, pouty lips. You get some big lips. Like this is going to give you some coverage for sure. But like this is supposed to smell like candy apple and I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. This smells like cough syrup, cherry cough syrup. Like I don't, I even had my daughter. I was like, Cadence, smell this, you know? And she was like, oh my God, that smells like the cough syrup you make us drink. Yeah, that's what it is, you know? Not that I make them drink it all the time, just so we're clear here, okay? Because I just said that and I know everybody's going to be like, you make your kids drink cough syrup when they're sick. Yes, I make them take Robitussin when they're sick. All right, so don't be getting crazy on me, you guys. All right, so that is pretty much this entire box. And like I said, I definitely, oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot about this. There's a little fortune cookie inside. I thought that was really cute too. That's how she, um when she did on her Instagram page, when she um, did like the reveal for all the products in the box, they did a little fortune cookie. And I definitely thought that was just super cute and different. So we'll see. Maybe if I can open it, that was a really hard fortune cookie. All right. So it just says happy holidays, XOXO trend mood. Well, that would have been great if I would have got this before the holidays, but I did not. Mm. And that cookie is kind of a little stale. All right, so this was everything for the December Trend Mood box. As I said, the January is getting ready to go up tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in knowing how you yourself can get your hands on one along with the spoilers for January, let's get into it. All right, so first let's talk about how you yourself can get your hands on a Trend Mood box, which is kind of the bad or ugly side to this box. For me, it is. All right, so here's the issue. When Trend Mood very first released and dropped that they were going to put this box out, everybody was, of course, super excited. And they put a link up um, on their Trend Mood box Instagram. You click on it, you put your email information in there, and I actually put all three of my emails. So I have like three different emails. I put all three of them in there. And you were supposed to then receive an email and you were supposed to get first kind of dibs on the box, right? But I never got an email and I have searched through my emails. They even told people, well, check your spam folder. Are you sure you signed up for it? Yes, I'm positive I signed up for it and I did not get any emails. I searched my emails. As you can see, there is nothing. The only thing I got was the confirmation that I purchased it and then the shipping confirmation and all of that kind of thing. And then that brings me to my second issue and problem with this box is the shipping. So I purchased this box midway through December and I didn't actually receive it until the first week or end of the first week, actually going into the second week of January, which was kind of my issue because I was, I'm pretty sure 
are one of the very first people like I was on there right at uh, 10 a.m. their time purchasing that box and I was probably one of the last people to receive it. So that was my only other issue. Now I don't know if it was them necessarily or UPS because they do use UPS and they are terrible. They are probably one of the worst shipping companies to use next to DHL. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know who it was, but I know they printed my label out and said like it, it printed a label out and said that it was shipping very quickly, but then it actually didn't leave their facility for another week after that. And then took, you know, UPS another week and a half, almost two weeks to actually get it from California to here. So that was my only other issue really with this box is the whole shipping. If you want this box very quickly, it may not happen. I'm just being honest with you guys. All right. So if you are interested in signing up for the trend move box, my, my advice to you, scrap the whole email thing, get on their website. It's going to be like, kind of like a Jeffree Star mystery box, free for all kind of thing, but get on their website right at time because last time they sold out in 15 minutes, you guys, and that is no joke. So if you want this box, I suggest you get on there right at 10 a.m. All right. So this is what it is tomorrow, Monday morning, and it's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, you get on their online website and you purchase the box. It's just like anything else. Now you can try to put your email in there and I have my email. I even redid it again to see if this month, if I actually do receive this first dibs email. But last month I did not. I mean, I checked it right at 10, nothing. So I just went right to their website myself and that's how I purchased it. And I mean, I was purchased and done by 10.03 and at 10.15 they were sold out. So it went very, very quickly. And again, I'm just being completely honest with you guys. All right, so let's talk about the spoilers for the January box because some of these have me really excited, you guys. So if you don't wanna know what's gonna be in the box and you wanna be surprised, get out of the video like right now. But if you do wanna know, let's talk about it. All right, so the first one, I am really excited for her. And I just have to say congratulations because I know it's gotta like just feel absolutely monumental. I know it would be for me because you guys know how much I love Sigma. And so she's partnered up with Sigma and actually made trend mood, like they're actually trend mood is printed on the handle of the brushes and they are three of her favorite brushes so there is going to be the e25 blending brush which you guys already know how much i love that brush there's also going to be the e35 tapered brush another one of my favorites and then there also is going to be the e30 pencil brush which i don't have so i'm excited to try that out and then she also said in the comments it says these are existing brushes that i chose to put them together in a set which is perfect to use with another surprise that comes in the box so I'm really excited to see what that surprise is, if it's going to be another Sigma item or what. It's just, it's exciting. All right. So the next product and or spoiler that I'm really excited about is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus, which is a triple lipid boost, 360 degree under eye, like kind of cream gel stuff. And I'll show you guys a picture of it here. So it says this is a treatment using unprecedented concentrated clinical actives to target hydration, dark circles, puffy and fine lines around the eyes and lids. So I'm really, really excited to give this a go. You guys know I've really been loving the under eye skin sticks. I included one in my K-Beauty dupes video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that at the end of this video. But yes, I'm definitely excited to give that a try. Another product that I'm really excited about and I cannot wait and is another spoiler for the Trend Mood box is going to be the Rin Perfect Clean or Perfect Canvas Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. So I'm really excited about this because Ren does have clean skincare, so their ingredients are just absolutely amazing. And this says it is a gentle yet deep cleansing treatment in a clean jelly oil. And it says it is clinically proven to remove makeup, SPF, and pollution, cleaning up your complexion. I absolutely love this. I'm really excited for it. Even though we did just get a cleanser in the last one, I am excited to try this because it's a jelly oil cleanser. I've tried jelly cleansers. I've tried oil cleansers, but I've never tried like a hybrid of the two. So I think that would definitely be interesting. Again, Ren's just their ingredients are amazing. So that one I'm excited for. Now, the next one is one that I'm actually not that excited for, but I know a lot of people are, and I can definitely see why. If you have oily skin, 
you would probably be excited too. So this is the Farsali Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum with French Pink Clay. And I'm definitely very intrigued about this product. So this is a newly released product from Farsali. I don't even think it has actually launched yet. So if you do get the Trend Mood box, you'll be one of the first ones to receive it. I think it's like going to go in the box around the same time that it's launching. So this says it's an innovative liquid to powder serum that helps balance oil production and leave skin a perfectly powdered finish. And it does not have any talc in it. So I'm definitely very interested how something can be a liquid and then turn to a powder and just, you know, mattify and make everything all clean and fresh. I'm very, very interested how this works. Now, if I do receive this box, I probably won't use it, even though I'm again, very intrigued and curious, and I do want to see how it works exactly. Um, I will probably put it in a giveaway though, just because I don't want to waste it just to, you know, squirt a couple drops on the back of my hand. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the next spoiler is by Dominique Cosmetics, and we don't actually know what the product is yet. So if I somehow find out between right now and the time that I'm posting this video, I will link it up here. They did say they will reveal the last spoiler later, so hopefully they will. But the only thing we know is that it's by Dominique Cosmetics, and that's it. So that is the last spoiler that I have for you guys for the January Trend Mood box. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about these products? Are you loving them? Are you hating them? Are you yourself going to try to get a Trend Mood box? I myself personally, I think this is an amazing idea. I'm glad that it's not a subscription box and you don't get billed monthly. I'm glad that it is just a $39.99 box. And if you want the products in it and are going to save money, like for me, the December box was amazing because just because of those two Ola Henriksen's. I love Ola Henriksen's products. They're clean skincare. I love them. I love that those are new products that I've never tried before. And I saved 30 bucks by purchasing the box and got some other new products and sponges to try out too. So I I do think that's amazing. The January box is a little different. There are a few products in there that I'm very interested in trying out, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Because like the first Sally, like that for me, I just don't have oily skin. So, you know, if you do have oily skin, the January box is gonna be like a hit for you. You know what I'm saying? The Sigma brushes, I already have two of the three of them, but I would kind of like to have the ones that just say Trend Mood on them because I feel like this is kind of an iconic moment for her and I just feel like I, I'm like sharing it with her. You know what I mean? Like I'm really excited and just congratulations, sweetie, because I know that's gotta be an amazing feeling and hopefully one day I can get there. I would love to work with Sigma. They are just amazing. All right. So that is all I have for you guys today. Again, let me know what are your thoughts about all this down below and whether or not you're going to try to get one. And I've got so much more coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Love you. Bye.